if you can do more within a field early on, you basically start developing your portfolio earlier and the number of experiences you have can grow exponentially because you have more on your, on your CV or on your resume. So that basically it's a positive feedback. I started working on ants when I was an undergrad. Um, I was taking an entomology class and there was a posting for a, a job position outside the, the lab room and it was on fire ants. This was in Texas. Started working on fire ants and then the only, the, the only things that have changed are the, the species that I've worked on. Why are ants important? Well, they're, they're um, dominant members of almost every ecosystem on Earth. This research, this is on a species called Dinopona australis. One thing that, that really interests people in, in this ant is it's one of the largest ants on Earth. Um, I mean, it's, it's this big. The, the ant will look you in the eye when you're, you're working with it. Um, they're, they're just mammoth in size. And there are two papers that came out, one in Biotropica, one in uh, PLOS One. And they, they differ quite, quite a bit in terms of what they're about, but they both generated quite a bit of publicity. One, one generated uh, we had, uh, Washington Post and a couple others, and the other one was in Wired and Discovery. Once you get a paper out, you can get more funding because people see that you're experienced. Once you get funding, you can get more papers out, get more funding and then it can roll from that. And so the same thing applies for an undergrad. If they get research experience, someone else is more likely to hire them in a next research project, etc. cetera. Um, and so just in terms of student development, I think it's extremely important we get students involved in research. And uh, for my own background, I mean, I was a product of doing undergraduate research. Um, and also, I mean, we have great students.